thank you very much for bringing me home, Mr. Neg. You're welcome. I had to come a long way into a few things here today, anyway. I thought about this a little. If Mystic Maya didn't kill that nice man, she definitely didn't. Yes, of course. But if she didn't, then someone else did, right? That murderer person. Yes, Pearls? Oh, I, I see. I wonder what's wrong. She seems sad. Probably because she knows her mom did it. Speculation. Probably not her mom. Probably whatever her face is. So what did you think of uh, seeing your first trial? I was really surprised. I had never seen so many people before. No. The Mystic Maya looks so small and helpless. Well, Maya's already naturally short, so... And then that snobby woman with the roughly clothes. Roughly. Oh, she means Francisca. She had a really bad attitude. She acted like she had already decided that Mystic Maya did it. I'm gonna tell her that what I think of it to of her tomorrow. I wouldn't miss tomorrow's trial for the world. Why was that woman bullying Mystic Maya? Well, she is the opposite of a lawyer or prosecutor. So her job is to prove people guilty. They don't care if someone's innocent. All they care about is if they win. That's terrible. But she's a really good prosecutor with a heart of, uh, on the inside, right? There's no one like that. All prosecutors are the same. Well, he might have become a good guy. Eventually. He? Who are you talking about, Mr. Nick? Is it that ma person Mystic Maya was talking about? Mr. Edgeworth? That was a long time ago. He's not around anymore. Huh? He clutched onto his foolish pride too fiercely and died for it. Oh, that's too bad. By the way, yes, uh, what is it? Uh, you wouldn't happen to know anything about who the murderer is, would you? Why are you asking me? No, I was just thinking earlier. I didn't see anything. She didn't see anything, huh? Speaking of that, during the murder, where was Pearls and what was she doing? On top of that, this key. Just when did she pick this up? I just realized I never asked you, you what you were doing at the time of the crime. I really hope <laughs> this little girl isn't actually like guilty of anything because that would actually be like really sad. Pearls, where were you and what were you doing when this murder took happened? Ah, what I was doing? I wasn't doing anything. She's really bad at lying. You can whisper it to me and I won't tell anyone else. I promise. Oh no. Two locks. Ah. Uh. Um, I guess you can see through my lie, huh? Yeah, clearly. I can't lie to you, can I, Mr. Nick? Yeah, I don't have anything. Actually, wait. Let's try... Let's try presenting this. See if we can pull it up. See what happens. Pearl's alibi. I want to hear what it is, at least. Pearl, you have to tell me what you were doing when the murder happened, okay? Uh, what if I can't just tell you what happened? Then I'll guess just what happened. What, how does that sound? You can do that? You'll tell me if I guess something right, won't you? Yes. No, when the murder was taking place, you were here, right? Probably the winding way. Or the side room. Winding way? You were here, weren't you, Pearls? In the winding way? Wow, you got it! So, do you think you can tell me now? I'm sorry, not yet. Man, oh man. Alright, what next? Okay, I think I know what you were doing there. Do you really know it that much? Well, I am a lawyer, you know. Now, what was it Pearl was doing in the winding way? Uh, yeah. This is where I stop. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. I can get one. <laughs> Fucking frozen face there. That's amazing. Let's go to the meditation room, though. I need a little bit more evidence. It's really empty. There's supposed to be training held today, but I guess it's already over. Let's go into that room.
Channeling chamber. Hmm. Looks like Morgan's here too, but she hasn't noticed me yet. What is she doing? She looks like she's taking it, taking a, talking to a picture. Talk, taking a picture, Jesus. Don't you see? Take a look around. Finally, my chance has come. I've waited for this date for so long. That's right, prepare yourself, dear Misty. What the? Who's there? Oh, if it was, isn't Mr. Phoenix, Mr. Wright. I'm just curious about that picture you were just looking at. Oh, today was that event, was it not, good sir? I heard you did well. Oh, well, yeah, thank you. I'm terribly sorry I could not attend the trial today. Please accept my apology. I had a previous engagement as I had to watch over the trainees uh, training today. I get the sense she really doesn't uh, doesn't want to talk about the picture. All because the master can't be here with us, you understand. And that is why lowly branch family members such as myself must do this. Yeah, that picture uh, is um, probably Maya's mother. Have you remembered something about the murder? No, I told you everything I know already. Were you in this room the whole time when Lada and I came, went to call the police? Yes, of course. I was by Mystic Maya's side the entire time. I performed the spirit severing technique and held her in my arms afterward. You said that yesterday as well. Did anything else happen? I would like to say more did. However, that is all that occurred. Uh, I was really hoping for more info. I suppose nothing happened in the end, good sir. Sorry to have played on your hopes. Why do I feel like I was just made fun of in the worst way possible? So did the students train every day? Yes, absolutely. They were given a day off the day of the mur after the murder, of course, however. And I assume both Maya and Pearls went through this training? Mr. Wright. Oh, uh, yeah, wow, she got really scary, real fast. How many times must I tell you before you understand, good sir? They are to be dressed as Mystic Maya and Mystic Pearl. I meant Mystic Maya, Mystic Pearl. Wait, I'm sorry, but Mystic Pearl? Isn't that going a bit too far? Next question, please. Oh man, she's really a pain in the butt about this. Please remember to watch out what you say, and but uh, how you say it, good sir. Not how, what you say, but how you say it. So the master is uh, Maya's mother, right? Mystic Misty. She is a brilliant medium. And where is she now? We are not sure. Not sure. About 16 or 17 years ago, Mystic Misty failed to channeling a certain spirit. And after that, she simply disappeared. I don't believe she will return to this village in any case. And in four years' time, her name will be forever erased from this village. Erased? A person who has been away from the village for over 20 years is considered dead. Oh, I see. And that is four years from now for her. When that happens, a new master will be appointed to the Korean village. And? Mystic Maya was supposed to become the next master. However, with this murder, I'm afraid... I must be imagining things. I thought she was laughing to herself for a second there. Let's try presenting this thing. There are six parts to the Korean sacred writings. To think that this valued treasure of our village and Mystic Maya were both shot by a gun. Well, that's... Even if it was something that occurred during a channeling, it is an unforgivable act. This is risky, but key. This, this is the key to this room. That's right. But why do you have it, good sir? That I'm not telling you. Return it at once. I can't. It's evidence, after all. I think she knows exactly how important this key is to this murder. What is this feeling I'm getting from her? It feels... I can't describe it. It feels like pure, unbridled rage. That is Mystic Maya's costume, isn't it? It's a shame. I never thought anything like that would happen to her. But we don't know that it was Maya that did it. Oh, poor Mystic Maya. Do you ever listen to anyone other than yourself? That is Mystic Maya before I appealed, uh, applied the spirit severing technique. This picture, it was taken without my express permission. I knew allowing a person like her from the heartland into our, co our country was a bad idea. You do realize that the heartland is part of this country, right? Interesting. It still looks like something to me, but... 
There's some empty space behind the folding screen. The light of the candles can't reach back there, so it's completely dark. There wasn't anyone back here at the time of the murder. Or that's what Lada testified in court. I knew I should have taken a look. I can always count on Lada to make things hard. I guess this is an altar. Whatever it is, it feels very important. A mirror-like object with a cloudy reflective surface, and some branches of a sacred tree that has been set in a predetermined arrangement. I guess they'd use to channel it. Can't look at this now. This is where the medium sits, I assume, and there's four panels of flooring. Feels a little damp, probably from the humidity. My eyes keep going drawn to the pool of blood. Check the door. The meditation room's on the other side, this very heavy door. The lock on it's broken because well, I broke it. Doesn't seem possible, but I managed to break it pretty badly. When we wanted to do something bad enough, people can do amazing things. No new information from there. Let's go the winding way. Looks like there's no one here. And even though the weather is gorgeous today, it's raining inside my heart. Can we check out this incinerator yet? It's a small incinerator. I don't think garbage trucks come here all the way to the little village like this. So every family has to burn trash. No, we're not. Splendid garden with a small lamp, traditional decks. It's a small to walk around in, although that incinerator piques my curiosity. Even though you won't look inside the incinerator. It's a really bold burn. There are ashes of a person long dead inside. Looks like someone, uh, something with a long history. Other than that, it's not very interesting, so it's time to move on. Uh, one day. One day he'll look inside the incinerator. I swear to God, something's in there. Someone's in there, probably. Clothes probably in there, too. The bedding is all laid out today, too. Guess I'll leave them alone for now. Oh, I keep wondering about this box. I'm sure this wasn't here before the murder took place. It looks like a box for storing clothes, but it's pretty big for just clothes. It's mostly empty, but a few folding pieces of channeling costumes sit at the bottom. Excuse me. Who am I talking to? There's no one here. <laughs> it's a decorative wooden bear sculpture. There's a plate attached to the base. Korean village, the heart of channeling. What the? It's a souvenir. Does this mean it's easy to spot bears here? And for them to spot you? Ooh. It's a small alcove. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean and symbolize. If I had one of these in the office, it would end up in a storage space. But here, it's decorative with some pretty flowers and a beautiful hanging scroll. Okay, I might have to actually just wing it on pearl stuff. Which is kind of scary. Because I'm, I'm gonna get fucked. I've seen this knife before. Really? Where? My kitchen. Oh, that's right. This knife belongs to the face. I'll skin and cut off uh, some apples for you later, Nick. Okay, thanks. That's Mystic Maya's. Ah, I shouldn't have shown her this something this violent. Is that blood? Um, it's nothing, really. Just forget you ever saw this, okay? What was I thinking? I can't show her stuff like this uh, to a child. We're gonna show all this stuff to the child. And second dot, showing her this picture might cause severe trauma. Are you kidding? I wanna- I want to! I wanna traumatize the child. Ah, uh, I don't know what to do. Oh. You know anything about her? I'm sorry, I don't know who this person is. I guess that makes sense. I never left Korean village after all. I'm really sorry, Mr. Nick. I just don't really know anyone outside the village. It's my mother. She takes really good care and loves me very much. She says I'm the pride of the branch family. But I don't know what that means. Branch family. That concept's probably still too hard for a little girl. Uh, 
God damn it. I have to do something with that check. I just need to get one piece of evidence. There's gotta be something in here. I already did that one. What about the other one? Nope. Knife. What do you think about this? I'm terribly sorry, but I'm afraid my spiritual powers are not as strong as you might think. I really am terribly sorry. This has nothing to do with your spiritual power. I did that one. Floor plans. No. What do you think about this? Nothing. What about the layout of the manor? Nothing. Profiles. Well, Pearl. Come to think of it, I don't believe I have seen my child today. Would you happen to know where she is, good sir? No, I wouldn't. Honestly, take one day off from training, and it is nigh impossible to make a house. Good sir, I pray you are not teaching her strange, free fiendish things in her off time. In her time off. Boy, here comes her anger, and we were having such a civil conversation too. What do you think about this? Nothing. Mia. Oh my, I think I may know who this person is from somewhere. It's me, you know, Maya's older sister. Ah, yes, that is who she is. How did you forget a daughter of the master? In memory serves, she became a lawyer. Oh, how splendid of her, don't you think? That soft, kind smile. It's the kind that you tell a pair of devil horns are not too far away. Good sir, yes. When did you take a hidden picture of Mystic Maya? What? Wait, it's not like that at all. It's unforgivable. How? Why'd she slap me? I, 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 got, I just got nothing. What about this person? Oh, it is that man, is it not? A man who wishes to borrow a departed spirit's power to hide, hide the lack of his own. What an insignificant man and see how pitiful he died. Insignificant. That would mean you are that man's insignificant little friend, dear sir. I guess that makes Maya my insignificant little assistant, huh? Jesus, I don't know what the fuck to do. Investigate this folding screen. This folding screen is really showing its age. All of its edges are a bit tattered. Lettering faded too. I think I recognize a few characters. Maybe I'll ask Maya about it later. Mmm. Nothing's in here. I can't talk about anything else. There has to be something I'm fucking missing. Anything over here? Piece of cloth with a torn and finely written characters jammed onto it. Probably esoteric knowledge only mediums would know. Let's see. Here's one in English. It says 100 ways to save money. Huh. Being a medium sounds like a rough way of life. Yeah. Rough. Door that leads to the channeling chamber, the place where the spirits and people meet. The iron door, iron in this door was tampered, with, making it very so tempered. But I guess it wasn't strong enough to withstand the phoenix. Yeah, <laughs> big boy over here. No, I didn't want to go out here. Not this key, pearls. You found it on the day of the murder, right? Yes. Now where you found this key is very important. So please tell me, Pearl, where did you find this? I found it in an incinerator. Incinerator? Hmm. She's talking about the one in the garden. The door on it was a little open, so I took a peek. When was that? It was after the channeling when everyone is in a panic. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Nick? <laughs> yes. Are you going to tell my mother? Hmm? You mean tell Morgan what you did? Yes, if she finds that I was playing in the leftover trash. I'll get spanking. Oh, uh, gotcha. Well, let's keep it a secret from her then, all right? I'm the incinerator. Huh. Sounds like a good place to search next. Is there anything else I can present her <laughs> besides this knife? 
pistol anything? Sure helpful if you find some way, but I'm still in training, so I don't know anything about it. I'm really deeply sorry. No, oh, it's, it's okay. I wouldn't have shown you something so trivial anyway. Sorry. Feels weird, talking to a kid like this. Can I investigate the incinerator now? Ah, uh, please. Yes, something's moving. Oh, wow. Okay, that wasn't there before. Hey, there's someone by the incinerator. Oh, looks like they've noticed me. And are now running at top speed towards me. Oh, hey! Like, uh, you're like that Dennis guy. Actually, it's Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Nice to meet you again. Oh, like, real sad, sad suave. So it's like my turn. It's nice to meet you too. So what's up? You're all out of breath. Like, huh? Oh, like, you mean, like, I'm just like totally happy, like, totally excited to be here. Excited? Like, I mean, there's so many things to like see. It's like a real deal here. Oh, really? For example? For example, like, that urn over there, do you like know about it? All I see is an old, crooked, pe cracked piece of pottery. I don't want to move. I want to examine, though. She said to look at it. It's real old urn. She said to fucking look at it. What the fuck? Oh, let's look over here at the... That's right. Pearl said she found this key inside the incinerator. Guess I should take a look inside for myself. This. This is from Maya's costume. There's blood on it. A tiny bit, but still. It's cloth scrub. Anything else? Probably not. Let's talk. So, what about the urn? Is there some strange uh, legend connected with that urn? I am. Like, yeah, it's like this village's treasure. I didn't know that. And like, it's sealed inside that urn. Hmm. It's? What are you talking about? Like, you know, Amy Faye's spirit. Amy Faye? Who's that? Like, geez, Mr. Smith, get with the program. Everyone knows the lady that founded the Korean channeling technique was Mystic Amy. So, you don't have to get upset with her. Uh, so, like, as long as her spirit, like, lives in that urn, the spiritual power of the Faye family will stick around. Like, isn't it, like, totally romantic? Romantic, huh? If that urn is really as important as she says, it could be a vital clue. Eni, I wanted to ask you about the murder. Murder? Dr. Gray's remember, as if there's another one. Oh, that one. Like, you should have said it so in the first place. So, like, I totally don't know anything because I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Well, it's not much help. Did you notice anything at all? Like, come on, what a total bore. I, like, totally have nothing to do with this, like, murder thing. Uh, yeah, you only introduced Dr. Gray to Korean Village. No relation, sure. Even if you were only acquaintances, that still means you knew him. Furthermore, your sister, who died in the accident, was a nurse's clinic. Let's talk about traffic accident. Alright then, why don't you tell me about the, your sister's fatal accident? Like, why? You think, like, it's got something to do, like, to do with the murder? I don't know yet, but I'm trying to chase down every lead I have. How many? Two. Ah, uh, psych lock? Like, what is it? Looks like I'm going to need something to pry her mouth open on this one. I think she does that willingly. Let's go ahead and examine this urn. So there's a spirit in this urn, huh? Hmm. All I see is a bunch of cracks. I guess maybe the spirit could live in a space between the cracks. Hmm. Looks like something's written on it. I am. Huh, weird. Sacred urn added to it. Let's try psych locking. Pray to God. Oh, I can't mess up. Traffic accident. Please tell me about the traffic accident. Huh? Like, whose accident? Your sister's accident, naturally. Oh, um, uh, yeah. So, like, that Dr. Gray guy made my sister fall asleep. And, like, that's all I have to say about that. Hmm. Interesting. 
Eni just asked whose accident, which means she must know something about another person's accident. All right, let's change the topic then. How about you tell me about a certain other person's accident? Huh? Another person's accident? Like, you got someone in mind? No, I, I don't know. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. Yeah, I, d I don't. I don't know another accident. The only one I, I would would be her sisters, and that's basically it. Anything new in here? No. Maybe Maya's back. I pray Maya is there. I didn't mean to go to the law office. Detention center, please, Maya. Please be here. I need something to go on. Hey, Nick. I've been waiting. She looks so helpless. So, so, how was it? What did, what did you find out? Uh, well, I found a few things. My eyes are tearing up, Nick. Don't make me cry. I just need a little more time. It'll all come together by tomorrow, I promise. I'm sorry, Nick. Every time I see you, all I do is cause you trouble. It's alright. It's not your fault. Anything? Oh, thank God there's more stuff. Let's talk about the journal. You are fantastic, Nick. Every time I thought our go goose was cooked, you managed to turn it all around. I bet it would make a great Hollywood movie. Don't be silly. We have a we have to concentrate on the trial. We're going to win this, Maya. If we're going to win this. Thanks a lot, really. Hey, Nick. The person who shot Dr. Gray wasn't me, was it? Of course not. You're completely innocent. If that were true, then I'd be really happy, but... There wasn't anyone else in the room with, uh, room with the other two of us, right? Well, did you check behind the folding screen? Hmm. I took a quick glance, but there wasn't anyone there. Hmm. That's exactly what Lotta said, too. Um, Nick? Yeah? Why do you believe in me? Why do you think, um, I didn't kill Dr. Gray? Because of something Mia told me. My sis? What'd she tell you? She said that spirit mediums can't have dreams. When you're channeling, it's impossible for you to dream because your soul leaves you. Now that you mention it- Wait, then, then, if I re I really am. You're not the real murderer. I think that maybe for you even called the spirit, you, you even called, before you even called the spirit, you were drugged. Drugged? I think this was planned from the very beginning. And you were set up to take the blame for the kill, for killing Dr. Gray. That's, that's, let's talk Pearl. I want to ask you something about pearls. Pearly? What do you- what about her? No matter what I try, she won't answer me. I want to know what she was doing at the time of the murder. Hmm? Wait, Nick! You don't think she did it, do you? No, no, nothing like that. She'd never do anything like that, you hear me? Never. She's a great kid, and really cute. And really great. And cute. I didn't really think she was a mur the murderer. But, she's definitely hiding something. Um... You were with her on that day, right? Yeah, the two of us. We were playing with her ball. A ball, huh? Sounds like a dead end to me. Where's the ball? So about this ball. It's nothing really special. Just a plain old ball. I think she was still playing with it when I started the channeling job that day. Pearly really loves to play with that ball. She loves to play with that ball? Huh. When she wants to get it, she always climbs right into the clothing box. The clothing box? Yeah, Pearly is always hiding it in there. You know the side room? There's a clothing box in there. It's really big, so once you see it, I'm sure you'll know what I'm talking about. The clothing box in the side room, huh? Fucking knew something was in there. Now we can actually start getting th shit done. Ah. Ah! Hey, wait, please, Lotta. She ran off into the manor. Oh, Jesus. June 21st. Lotta. Ah! Hey. I'm telling you, quit following me, you hear? I'm a worthless piece of trash. You, uh, you lay your eyes on me and you'll turn you to dust. Oh, Jesus Christ. Please don't be in here. 
Oh, it's like, yeah, I don't want to deal with her either. Side room. Oh, hey, look, there's the ball. I'm pretty sure I saw Lotta run this direction. But it doesn't look like she's here. That's fine. I'm gonna pick up this ball, though. It's Pearl's balls. A ball. Uh, Maya said that's always kept in the clothing box. So then, what's it doing on the floor? Is it the Steel Samurai? It's a clothing box or Pearl's ball used, usually kept. I wonder what's inside. Ah! What? What what were you doing in there? What were you thinking? I'm a bad person, just another piece of human trash. I need to crawl in a hole. So you crawled into this clothing box because there wasn't a hole to crawl into? Oh man, huh? There's a small hole in this clothing box. And it's about eight inches off the ground. It's the same height as the folding uh, the hole in the folding screen. Then could this Uh oh. Did Maya w was stuffed in there? It wasn't in there, actually. I do recall it wasn't in there, so it was probably behind the folding screen. They shot and missed him. It went through the folding screen, through the box, hit Maya's uh, clothing. Then they fired again and killed him. Um, it's coming together. I'm going to get this. Oh, please, not another Lotta. Oh, Mr. Nick, that person ran by here just now. What person? Um, you know, that person with the fluffy cotton candy hair. Ah, oh, she means Lotta. She said don't look at me with them eyes, but... I'm not that scary, am I? I don't think that's quite what she meant. Oh, that's right. She also wanted me to tell you. Going on a trip to find myself, so don't you bother finding me. Oh, well, uh, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I wish Pearly uh, did more of that. More lot of impersonations are needed.